In this video, let us understand the concept of auto wiring using Spring Boot application. For this, let me create a Spring Starter project. Give the application name Spring Auto Wiring Demo. Rest of the things are all same. In case of package, let me change the package name to com.srishti. If you want to know how to create a standalone application using Spring Boot, you please watch the previous video where we are creating a standalone application using Spring Boot. Click Next. Because this is a standalone application, I don't need any dependencies. Click Finish. My application is ready. This is the main class. The main class should implement command line runner. And I will override the run method. Now, to understand auto wiring, we need few classes. I need a shape interface with two implementations, rectangle and triangle. One shape factory having an instance of shape. Let me create that first. Select SRC main Java, right click new interface. The package name is training, interface name is shape. Click finish. I will have one method area in the interface. Because this is an interface, you don't have to annotate it with at the rate component. Now let me create two implementation classes. These are the two implementing classes, rectangle and triangle. I will annotate them with at the rate component. In triangle also, let me add at the rate component. Okay. Now we need to have a shape factory class having an instance of shape. Okay. This class should be annotated with at the rate component. And let me have one method public void print area int x comma y. Within this I need to print the area. So it is shape dot area by passing x and y. The shape factory is having an instance of shape so we need to auto wire it. Let me add the annotation at the rate auto wired. Here we have two implementations of shape rectangle and triangle. Now we need to tell the IOC container which implementation should be injected into shape factory. For that we are using the annotation at the rate qualifier. Within qualifier we can pass the name of the bean. In case of rectangle, it is lowercase rectangle and in case of triangle, it is lowercase triangle. If you want to give a different name, you need to give that within round brackets next to at the rate component. This is giving me an error because I have not saved it. Okay, now I will go to the main class. In the main class, we have to auto wire shape factory. Now from within the run method, now from within the run method, I can call the print area method factory dot print area by passing the values. Let us run this application. In this case, it has to give the area of rectangle. Select the main class, right click run as Spring Boot app. So it's giving me the area of rectangle. And again, if I want to change it, I will have to go to shape factory inside qualifier instead of rectangle, I can give it as triangle. Let me rerun the application. Here I have got the area of triangle. This is fine. What if I want to inject both? That is based on the user's choice. I want to calculate the area of either triangle or rectangle. For this, let us add one more instance in the shape factory class. Auto wire it and add at the rate qualifier also. In this case, we will give it as rectangle. And here I will modify the method print area. I will add one more parameter choice. And here I will check if choice dot equals t, then I need to call shape dot area. Else if choice dot equals r, I need to call n shape dot area. And final else see so wrong choice and here also I can just give 
rectangle area, triangle area. So what we have done in shape factory is we have added two instances of shape. They are auto wired to shape factory. One shape reference is pointing to rectangle, the other shape reference is pointing to triangle. Based on the choice of user, you can either choose rectangle or triangle. Now let me come to the main class. In the main class, I need to pass the choice also. So I can give t, comma 10, comma 20. And I can also use r, comma 20, comma 30. If you want to modify the code, you can use the scanner to get the user input and send the values to the backend. Now let me run this application. Here it is giving me the area of both triangle and rectangle. So in the concept of auto wiring, we are using two annotations. One is at the rate auto wired, the other one is at the rate qualifier. If a class is having another class as instance, use at the rate auto wired. If the instance or if this class is having multiple implementations, you need to choose one specific implementation for that you are using at the rate qualifier. This is about auto wiring. This is how we use auto wiring in a Spring Boot application. Thank you.